till now 12 americans have visited the moon they were there for temporary purposes now there are plans to have a permanent habitation on the moon through artemis that's the american program india wants to land an indian on the moon by 2040 but beyond that can india have a permanent habitation on the moon scientists in india are already working on it here is a scaled model of what a Hartia village may look like at the lunar surface and this work is being done in the laboratory of Dr. Alok Kumar who is a professor at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore also my alumnus uh, Dr. Alok what do we see here and can we have a permanent habitation on the moon from India at some point we should definitely dream of and I think our Prime Minister has already uh, given us a vision of an Indian on moon by 2040. So we have to create the groundwork for a small colony on moon right now. So that is what exactly our lab is working on. What you see is a... What, what do we see here? Yes. So first, uh, you know, the first wave of people who will go there will have to assemble a structure where they can live safely. So what you see, these structures, okay, these are all modular structures, a structure we call Bheem, uh, Bharatiya uh, Expandable uh, Extraterrestrial Habitat. And uh, you can, these will all come as small pieces that can go up in a rocket's payload fairing, can be transported to the moon. There the astronauts, for example, an astronaut is right here, there he's assembling, he and she or she is assembling these structures there. So this is an assembled small uh, structure this is a slightly bigger structure that can be assembled from this. and this is a bigger one this is a bigger prototype and then uh, this is a, a so you said first we will carry yes and then we can also do in situ meaning using the resources on the moon yes now what have you what do we have you so, have some bricks you've made yes so this on the moon what we have is we have a lot of you know sandy fine sand like structure Hey, this is uh, this is what we call this is like a analog to the moon sand. Yes, regolith. So the technical name for that would be lunar regolith. So when we go there and our first habitats have ha habitants have been there for some time, they can start using the lunar regolith and they can start making bricks. And that's exactly what we have made here. There are bricks of different sizes. These are all made through lunar regolith simulants in our lab. Sometimes we are also making out of Martian uh, regolith simulants. So we can also prepare simultaneously to go to Mars. And these are individual brick-like structures. This is uh, two bricks cemented together with uh, another layer of things. So with this, we can dream of making a bigger structures, maybe something that can envelop it for protection against micrometeorites. So these could be habitats where humans can live, and then we can have a wall surrounding all of this using bricks. We could you, you are also the supervisor for Group Captain Subhanshu Shukla, yes. who is India's Kagan Yatri, who went to the International Space Station and, and you told me he contributed to some of this work. So what is uh, uh, Group Captain Shukla's contribution to this? So uh, the beam grew out of discussions between me and him during COVID times. So we became good friends and we would have all these discussions about how do you engineer for a habitat on moon. And then uh, we started breaking that problem down and uh, we realized that we have to make a modular structure. So that's why this entire structure was made, engineered later so that it can all we put in a payload fairing as stacks of different panels and this was uh, Shubanshu and my idea and then later on we had other people also come in. So Shubanshu actually worked hands on on yes. some of this with you in your laboratory? Yes, yes. And uh, he was trained here in my lab. Uh, that's where he learned how to ha handle a lot of experimental uh, equipment which I think uh, helped him on the International Space Station as well. Wonderful. Uh, and, and he also worked on these this kind of bricks and materials, yes. which could be futuristic uh, permanent habitation materials. Yes, yes. So one of these projects was to grow a certain type of bacteria in this uh, lunar uh, Martian sand. And the Martian sand is a very inhospitable environment for microbes because there's a lot of iron, there's a lot of perchlorate, which is actually poisonous. Poisonous. So you cannot, most of the microbes die, then how do you prepare the microbes to be living in those conditions? So that's some of his research. Uh, and he has been obsessed with this idea since a very, very long time of human habitation on Moon and Mars. I think the right 
uh, obsession so, for so, the Gaganath. So if, if not group captain Shukla, some of the younger astronauts from India could at some point be staying in modules like this. Is that Dr. Alok Kumar's wish? Yes, definitely. I would hope that, uh, you know, uh, we will be able to put some of these together and there will be an Indian uh, station on, on moon where we'll have Indian astronauts, uh, multiple of them, hopefully, all very well trained and living on the moon and uh, making a small chota sa bharat over there wonderful so that was dr alok kumar somebody who's trained group captain subhan shushokla he's a trained fighter pilot but beyond that he also did training as a scientist at the indian institute of science and creating a lunar village for india bharat ka antariksh mein gaon that is some of Professor Alok Kumar's, his students, and Group Captain Subhansh Shukla's contribution. And this brick you see has been made out of material which is a close analog of the regolith or lunar soil. Remember, there is very little water on the moon, so you have to create stuff which can be made with lower water. So a, a simulation or a model of a Indian lunar village on the moon, beyond that on Mars. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has already said that India will have a pool of 40 or 50 astronauts. Or Bharat ki beti bhi hogi usme. So an Indian village on the moon, the first steps being laid at the Indian Institute of Science Bangalore, where group captain Subhanshu Shukla also dirtied his hands in the laboratory. At the Indian Institute of Science in Bangalore, Palav Bagla for NDTV.